Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video. It has been a hot minute since I did a lip swatch video and my last one was Jack on Hill Cosmetics which I have not worn since that video because a lot of shit came out and I'm scared my lips will fall off. So there has been no drama around these lip products but they're not new. Uh, I'm going to be honest, this is not a new lip product, but it is new to me. Before we get into it, if you are interested in this makeup look, I did do this in a video. I recorded this look today. I will link that video up here. Do be sure to check that out after this video because as always, it's a lip swatch video and I love a good lip swatch video. These are my favorite videos on my channel. I just want to remind you guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video here on my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Maybelline Vivid Liquid Lipstick slash Lip Gloss Swatch video. I have five of the lip glosses here in front of me. We have some reds, we have some neutrals, and I can't wait to get them on. And then in terms of mattes, I have two. One seems to have ran away from me, but I promise you um, I will be swatching the second one in this video as soon as I can find it. I am wearing the Color Riche lipstick in the shade Glossy Fawn. That is what is on my lips right now, but we're taking it off. So, you know, if you like it, I love it. It's a really great lipstick. Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I'm not gonna be using a lip liner today. I'm trying to do this fast before my uh, battery on my camera and the battery on my Ricky Loves Ricky light go out. Racing against my battery life as you know, typically happens when you film more than two videos a day. I filmed, this is my third video today, so. Let's go from lightest to darkest in terms of the lip glosses. So, the lightest lip gloss that I have today is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease. I love the doe foot. It has a little bit of an angle and it also has that little, the middle is open. It has like a little, what's it called? You know, it like helps to pick up the right amount of product. And the doe foot's really nice because it really hugs the lip line. This looks crazy on me, but this is really pretty. It is like a super, super light pink. I will swatch them on the back of my hand so that we can compare all of them. And these are really creamy. They're a little thick. So although you don't need a lip liner to get it on precisely, you might want to use a lip liner because these are thick and in the summer, you know, you sweat a lot things tend to move around a lot. So a lip liner is going to make sure that that lip gloss stays in place. It kind of acts as like a waxy barrier between your actual lip and your skin. So you might want to use a lip liner for these. I often do. I feel like when given the option, I always use a lip liner except for today because I'm running through these as fast as possible. But these are very comfortable. They're thick. This color is not for everyone, but I do enjoy this color. I wear it different ways. So I'll put on a matte lipstick that's a little darker than this and then put this over it or I'll simply apply this to the middle of my lips to really give that like light pout in the middle or I'll apply a lip liner that's a little bit darker and then throw this bad boy on over it. I don't hate this though. I mean it might look a little funky, especially it looks a little funky on the monitor but in real life I have worn this by itself and I don't know, it's nice. I like it, especially with a light makeup look when you're wearing minimal makeup. It looks really nice. So again, this is in the shade Tease. Too Cute, which is the same. It's a Vivid Hot Lacquer. This is a lip gloss. This is a darker pink. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this here. Oh, well, that was a really bad swatch that I just did. But it's a super pretty pink. It kind of almost matches my nails. It reminds me of like a Barbie pink. So let's go ahead and throw this one on. The formula is the same, so I really don't have anything else to add on. The only difference here is the shade. This is a really nice shade. I think this one is more wearable, a little bit easier to wear, and I just think it's a beautiful color. This, I think, is one of my favorite colors out of their entire line. Like, I just love this. If you know me, I love a Barbie pink. I love pink. I am just, like, a pink girl, so clearly I would like this lip gloss. These are so pigmented, which I think is wonderful. These are not the type of glosses where you need to put a lipstick on and then put them on top. These are really pigmented. 
they're a little sticky, not like uncomfortably sticky. Some people don't like stickiness at all, but I like a stickiness because I feel like when they're pigmented, they tend to be a little bit more stickier, and then the sheer they are, they're thinner, if that makes any sense. But I've tried a lot of lip products in my 28 years of life, so that's what I have found. The next shade I'm going to try is the same. It is the Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Unreal. I feel like if you hear about any of these lip glosses, this is the most popular lip gloss. I feel like most people have this one from this Maybelline line, and this is definitely more of a brown tone, mauve brown. But look at that shine on all of them. It's so pretty. And to me, this is a beautiful nude. And I don't even think that you really need to line your lips when it comes to this color because it is such a nude color. I mean, it's nude for me. So if you have a similar complexion to me, this is beautiful. You could just throw this on. I don't even think you really need to look in the mirror. The formula is the same, so I don't have much to add, just the color. This is like the safest color out of all the ones that I've applied thus far. Unreal. And I can see why this is so popular because this is like a true nude. Like this is gonna be nude for most people. The other ones, not so much. Next up, we're going into darker colors, but I'm gonna try this red. I have talked about this on my channel before. This is in the shade So Hot, and this is the same. It is a Vivid Hot Lacquer, the lip gloss, and it is so pretty. Like, look at that. That's a gloss, people. That's a gloss. This is like a coral to it. It looks beautiful with this top. I love this shade. I wear this a lot in the summer, and I think this is the perfect summer shade out of all of them. This is the best one. Look at that, it's so pigmented. It's crazy, and these are so affordable. It's nuts. This is my favorite out of all of them by far. This has been my favorite lip gloss for a really long time, especially when it comes to drugstore lip gloss. So again, the shade is so hot, and that is the best name because it is so hot. Like, I love this, perfect summer shade. Now I have a deeper red. This is in the shade Classic. I definitely like brush off the excess because this can pick up a little too much. But this is just like your classic red. Look at that red. This is perfect for day and night. Like this is a year round kind of lip. Classic red, I think it's named perfectly. It is beautiful. Honestly, out of all of them, I wear these two reds the most just because I have nothing in my collection like these. I've never owned a red lip gloss that is as pigmented as these are. These are so pigmented. I just, I love them and they're affordable and they last pretty long, honestly. Like if you're not eating or drinking a lot, they can last for like two hours. But if you're someone that drinks a lot and you're gonna eat like a burger or like a hefty sandwich, like. They're gonna come off, you're gonna need to reapply them. So just FYI, these are not a matte lipstick, but they last a pretty long time. All right, let's move on to my matte lipsticks. Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude Thrill. I don't love these mattes, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I think if you're gonna buy anything, you should buy the glosses, but I'll try them on. Nude Thrill, they do separate, so you do need to, and I hate doing this, because honestly, this like puts air in it. I don't really know if that's good for the product, but you do need to mix them up because the mattes do separate, the liquids do not. And the doe foot is definitely different. It's long and skinny, and it doesn't have that like middle section where there's not felt. So it doesn't like pick up the perfect amount, which I don't really know if the other ones do, but I just, I like the other doe foot better. I think you can get in there a little bit better. The shape is better for me, and it's just the kind of doe foot that I like. It's all about preference, but. I think the shade is beautiful. These do feel a little powdery. It's not like my favorite kind of matte lipstick, but you guys know I'm kind of like, I'm not a big matte lipstick kind of person. These are really creamy. So when you put these on, you have some time to play with them. They don't dry down really, really dry or really, really crusty. And they're not gonna show the fine lines in your lips. I just feel like when you're talking about the matte lipstick, or the gloss, the gloss is just so different and innovative. Like I feel like it's really hard to find a gloss this pigmented, whereas you can go and find a matte lipstick like this. I hope that makes sense. 
I don't find these to be really uncomfortable. They do dry down. They take about five minutes to fully dry down. I think this shade is really nice. I think it looks good with a tan. So Thrill. No, Nude Thrill. Why did I call it So Thrill? Nude Thrill. I just, I like a gloss better. I'm just a gloss girl. I'm biased and that's my thought, but really comfortable. And if you're looking for an affordable lipstick or you just really like this color, I mean, honestly, all these products are great. And I think this video is really just like, what color do we like the best? That's really the question. So if you like this, then get this. I'll put the mattes down here. But yeah, that's a really pretty shade. I mean, I feel like that's a staple nude. I feel like most people will like the nude. And again, it doesn't dry down like a film. I hate that. I hate when it dries down and it looks like there's just like a film on your lips. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It looks like my lips, okay? It kind of almost looks like a lip stain because it's not like so, so pigmented. Clearly I like it, all right? It's not like Kylie. I hate Kylie lip kits. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. This one I don't hate, but I'm just saying, I like the glosses better. Last but not least, we're gonna try my last matte vivid liquid lipstick and this is in the shade nude flush so i just got nudes when it comes to mattes because you guys know i don't really i'm not a big matte person but this one's a little pinker so if you like a pink matte lipstick you should get nude flush whereas if you like more of a brown peachy like on my lips again that's nude thrill so let's go ahead and take nude thrill off same formula though so it's really just about the color I feel like on the lips, the last two look pretty similar, but this one is definitely a little bit pinker. Very pretty, I do like this. This is a really nice nude for me, and this looks really great with the tan. All right guys, and that concludes my Maybelline Vivid Collection Lip Swatch video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what was your favorite color that we tried on today. Do you own any of the Maybelline Vivid lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever it is you want to call them? If you do, be sure to let me know which color and what type you own and let me know if you love it, hate it, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you not? Anything that you guys want to talk about, leave it down below in the comments section. And if you have a video request, you want me to review a certain product, do a certain skincare routine, whatever it is, also always let me know down below in the comments section. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and also click that bell button. This way you get a notification every time I upload a new video here on my YouTube channel. I had a great time as always. I'm stoked that my camera has not died on me yet. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mm -hmm.